Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear. Um, I wanted to show you an interesting piece of gear that I own today. Uh, this is a well-used and well-loved Urban Survival Gear uh, tie scribe pen. Now this is the kind of bolt action version as you'll see. Um, and there's an interesting story as to why I own this pen. Uh, about a year ago, um, I'd already been in the, uh, the EDC kind of community on Instagram and collecting gear and especially knives for quite a while. Uh, but I was working a desk job, had been for quite some time, and I was using a pen every single day and uh, finally decided it was probably worthwhile to just get a nice pen uh, that I could use and enjoy every day instead of just continuing to go through cheap disposable pens from multi-packs from Staples or whatever I was using. Um, so I did a bunch of research. I asked a lot of people in the community who I respected the opinions of, uh, what pen they would recommend kind of based on my budget. And uh, I'd seen a lot of really cool, compelling kind of EDC style, um, nice pens out on the market. Um, but ultimately I decided on this one. And I'm really glad that I did because my, my motivation for finally spending quite a bit on a pen um, was to just buy once and then uh, and then not need to buy any more pens. I, I think a lot of people do that with certain types of gear and then it sends them down a rabbit hole. They think they're just going to get one knife and it's going to be their great knife forever or one great flashlight and they end up with a collection of those things. And a ton of people certainly do that with pens. Um, but I've been so happy with this one that it has actually genuinely been my only nice pen. Now, I want to say I got this uh, right around the $100 mark. It might have been a few bucks above that. It's a full titanium construction. Uh, this was right after he made the change and started making them slightly lighter. I believe he upgraded the grade of his titanium at the time, and so he was able to make the walls a little thinner and still have the same level of strength he was looking for. Um, but it's a super simple design, as you can see. And uh, I really like how simple it is. I didn't want something really tactical looking or just overly aggressive or crazy design. I wanted this to be something I could use at work, uh, carry in my pocket anytime and not look like a weirdo, bring it to church with me, whatever it was um, that I needed a pen to come along with. I wanted the pen I got to, to kind of suit the occasion. So I feel like this is a really happy medium of looking like a nice pen, not looking overly tactical or aggressive, um, but still definitely... Um, being a little different. And uh, you've probably heard me mention before, I'm also a fidgeter. Um, I fidget with my knives or with whatever's in my hand, realistically. So I wanted something that was kind of fun to play with. And the bolt action on this pen absolutely is. It's a really cool, very simple design that's a ton of fun to play with. So you can see where the pen is retracted, the clip sits up here, and it's actually the clip itself that function, functions as the bolt for this pen. So when you move the clip forward and over, catches on that secondary kind of notch there, and it is out. Now this runs on literally just G2 refills, and I think this is like the third one I've run in here. The, I really like the G2 pens. Um, those were frankly uh, the pens that I preferred to use before having a nice pen. So to have a pen that's in this body and feels so much nicer to use and to carry, um, but still writes like the pens I preferred, I dig that. And it's super cheap to get these refills for it. It's not like a complex, um, really niche refill that is difficult to find or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so this thing is fun. It's, uh, it's actually kind of broken in over time. It's gotten smoother and smoother the more that I've fidgeted and played with it. Um, if you look closely, you'll probably see I've put some wear in it. You can see kind of where the track of this moves along. I've definitely dropped this pen once or twice. There's some scuffs here and there. Um, this is my pen. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely just um, something I, I, I meant to buy once and use and enjoy for a very long time. And uh, so far it's been excellent for that. I haven't had the itch to buy another pen. I haven't felt like um, there's a, a hole in my pen collection. I just need one. I don't need a collection uh, for this. I've got too many other things that I go down rabbit holes on. So this is the tie scribe from Urban Survival Gear. And if you're looking for a pen and like me, you just wanna buy one or you're just looking for another exciting one, whatever your motivations in, in the pen world may be, um, this is a really cool full titanium, super streamlined and relatively simple, but fantastically um, kind of upscale, in my opinion, option for you. Um, I think this knife 
looks great, functions great. I have no complaints about it. In fact, I, I would certainly recommend it if you're the type of person like me who's dumb enough to spend a hundred bucks on a pen. Um, but yeah, at least I was right. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's working out well for me. I will say as well, I'm left-handed. And uh, even though I've kind of been showing this with my right hand because I fidget with my right hand a lot, uh, this, not, this pen is super ambidextrous in that way. So it's not at all weird for me to write with this left-handed. Uh, the action works perfect left-handed. So if you're a lefty, this is a great option as well. But there you have it. That is the tie scribe.